when you log in and Jira, you guys. If you are having a valid credential, valid credential is nothing. The organization which is the credential which they have provided you, right? The, your username and password. You will be falling under this dashboard where you won't be able to see all this project because if you are coming for the first time, it is blank for you. And the need is that organizations want you to set up a new team from the scratch. So there can be two things. One is that the project would have someone has created already. In that case, you will be seeing the project, so you can do the configuration over there. Second thing is that organization would say, no, you need, there is nothing in the Jira, you, you are expert scrum master, you start from the scratch. So I'll be talking about the scratch thing, so you will be having the good hand on. So first time when you go in the Jira and log in, what you see, you will be seeing this project option over there. So you won't see all this project because it is the first time. So what you'll do, you go to the create project option over here. So here what you are seeing guys, you are seeing the two options, one is a scrum and one is a product discovery. So if you are using the scrum framework which is the most widely used the framework, then you need to select the template, this is the template option and make sure before seeing the template, you, you see all the fields which is needed for you, it is there or not, right? For example, you can just have a quick glance over here. You are seeing the issue type, this template is providing the epic which I will be needing, the story which I will be needing, but that's sufficient for me. And if I want to add a more issue type, then if you are having the admin right, so here is the difference, the ad, if you are having the Jira admin right, then you can add the more customize this template. But if you are not having the Jira admin right, only the project admin right, then you need to ask your Jira admin sir, boss, I am using this scrum template, I need one more uh, issue type like feature. So he, he or she will add behalf of you. Same for the workflow. So currently the basic workflow is to do in progress done under this template. So if you want to add four more stages like uh, you want to add the development column also, you want to add the testing column also, you want to add the review column also which I am going to show you uh, in a while then you can again uh, if you are having the admin right you can customize from your own if you are not having the right then you can write down to your Jira admin he will customize those for you so how they do it I will show you so you, what we do we will use this template second important thing is once you see the template here you are seeing the two options one is team managed template one is a company managed template so the, the difference between this template is nothing you are having only one team who are not dependent to other teams and if you are not going to collaborate this team with this, that team in terms of a dependencies requirement and all then you can you select this template but most of the organization provide the company managed template con uh, considering that there will be multiple teams also who can be dependent to each other maybe a dba team devops team they can be uh, dependent to each other always go with the company managed template so company managed template will give you the more features where you can make a delivery plan also and write the uh, multiple dependencies also so i'm going to select this one select a company managed template now the important part the add project details so whatever the project you guys are working you need to give the meaningful name of this project so for us i prefer i have one project so consider we are going to build one uh, SCI banking application so we are going to build one website for the SCI and that's a demand so what you can do is just give the project name over here automatically it will take the key so the significance of the key is very important you see once you write the user stories or epic or any task in the Jira you see the key over there keyword key over there which is nothing uh, it is the abbreviation of this thing so if you want to change the key this is the only option uh, at this stage you can change the key if you want to give the meaningful name of this key so instead of SPW you want to see give the name as a SGI so you can give the SGI the sgb so this key once you set up this key you won't be able to change it so it's a one time so make sure you're giving the meaningful name the purpose behind of this key is that you can filter your key query with this name you can create a stories all the tasks with this key so this is very important so i have given the project name i have created the key and now i select the template as a scrum which is a company manager and create project you see the manager what Jira has done for you guys here, he ha it has created you the basic template for you. Uh, 
uh, for a scrum so a scrum follow the sprint for uh, so in the under the sprint you see the to do column you see the in progress column you see the done column and then you see the roadmap backlog report will go on the one by one all the options so this is the basic first thing which i talked about is first step only how to create a project in the jira step by step till the project creation so don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and share it with your friends who might also benefit from it and remember to subscribe to Focus Sky for more guidance on your path to success.